together for John Mulrooney. You all saw it. He punched me. You saw it, right? Big black guy assaulted me. You all saw it. How are you? All right. Drunk. I love it. Sunday night. Yeah! Vegas! What happens here stays here, like my license. How are you, big fella? Good to see you. Make friends with the big guys right up front, just in case shit breaks out. Could you get a bigger purse? Are you taking shit home with you when you leave? Are you fucking kidding me? This is luggage. What the hell do you have in here? Not that much? Well, take a look, because I can't do it. I mean, I'm a, that's not something I would do, but you don't give a shit, do you? Who cares? Go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> that's awesome. You take your glasses off to watch the show? Really? That's kind of weird. Do you do this to listen? <laughs> <laughs> Show's here. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> Are they just readers? Because I'm getting to that stage. May I? It's what? They actually sat. I put my book up. You pull your book out and read? <laughs> Go ahead. Pull your fucking book out. <laughs> pull it out. I dare you. Watch what happens. <laughs> I'll get Tim to come out here and punch you. Oh, these are just, uh, dude, there's not, these are, did you make these? They're like, it's like storm windows. What the hell is this? There's, there's like no refraction to them at all. Are you kidding me? Are they, are they plastic? What is this? I just want to look them for you, God damn it. <laughs> I just want to be able to make a point to somebody. Good God, man. <laughs> We're going to go to that comedy show, and I'm going to bring my goddamn book just in case it... <laughs> if that show sucks, I'm going to catch up on a few things, for Christ's sakes. You took them off. Her hair is blind, I guess. She's got them on the top of her head. <laughs> Celebrity in the audience tonight, David Crosby is here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, David Crosby, stand up, Dave. There he is, David Crosby. Crosby stays next to you. E or either that or if Jesus and Santa had a kid, that would be him. <laughs> Dude, do you still have a black light in your room? I'm just curious. That's like, you have a lava lamp? I mean, that's a whole 70s vibe you got going on there. 60s, let me handle this lady, all right? There's a reason why they don't pass these out at the door, okay? And, and at least he didn't do his hair with firecrackers, so I really... That's it, I'm reading. I'm not gonna have these insults flying around me, goddammit. Break out war and peace. <laughs> I'm sensing you're related and there's some emotional issue with the hair, no? Oh, you're just a fucking loud mouth? I thought she was with you somehow and that, you, that thing was a, a, a button for her. No, it's just fucking awful. I had to say it. <laughs> I love when people do shit like that under the guise of being honest. I gotta be honest, your hair sucks. <laughs> That's not honest. Honesty is consistency. It means like doing the same thing over and over again. That's, you know, you don't just blurt shit out. You gotta take people's... That's fucked up hair, dude. <laughs> I gotta go with her on this one, I gotta tell you. I would take my glasses off, too, if I saw you. <laughs> I mean, because it's got a look to it, uh, it which is kind of retro. But the rest of you is kind of contemporary, so it's throwing me off here. I mean, I, if, you, if you're wearing, like, bell-bottoms and an Nehru jacket, I'd go, that's it, man. You must play in the Beatles tribute band or something, dude. But, uh, 
Laugh yeah, with the group, you look retarded. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what's your name? Stan. Stan, and what do you do? Retarded. You're retarded, okay. <laughs> okay well, that's why you wear your hair like that. It's <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Austin Crafts. <laughs> I'm gonna make a comb. There's probably one retarded person in here who's gonna come up to me after the show. Hey, I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I call my hair. <laughs> I'm just joshing with you, Stan. You, I know you said you're retired. What, what did you do? Construction. Construction. Okay, did, dude, you don't. I mean, the hair doesn't look. Construction doesn't read construction worker to me. I mean, uh, you know, roofer, meth. <laughs> you had to get up and see, huh, lady? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, nosy. Come here. I'm not asking you. Come here. Get up. You're going to take a good look. Come here. Get up. I'm not asking you. This way. You want to see? Come on. I'll show you Stan. Come on. You took your shoes off? Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Why don't you drop your bra on the table, too, for crying out loud? This is one classy tomato. Come on up. Here we go. There you go. All right. Here, what's, your, what's your name? Tina. Tina? Okay, this is Stan. I just want to let you know so you can... Oh, Dina. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Uh, yeah, he's retarded. <laughs> That's the loudmouth broad with the firecracker hair. Okay. He's, he, he's the librarian. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else want to throw in one? There's a retard in the back who won't admit it. Because he doesn't want to be confused with Stan. <laughs> and, and that's it till now, but I'll keep you updated. If, 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 oh, oh, the lady with the glasses on her head right there. There she is, too. All right. Oh, well, while you're up here, what are you celebrating? I see champagne. Anniversary. Anniversary. Oh, I didn't know that. How cool. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? <laughs> Happy anniversary to <laughs> uh, No, 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 go, no, no, go. no, no, no. We want to sing Happy Anniversary to you. Oh, all right, never mind. Holy shit, she's already half in the back. Oh my god! <laughs> I better walk her down. These are two stairs, big ones, huh? Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Who puts stairs in this goddamn place? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> now I gotta walk down. <laughs> what kind of fucking place is this? Ma mazel tov to you, Dean. I'm sorry, what? Oh, Lachaim. Salud, uh, if you're Italian. Parchindan. Mazel tov. Right, oh, no, Lachaim. It's Lachaim, right? Did I have enough hook in my hand? Did I say it correctly? Did anybody spe uh, here speak Hebrew? Oh, of course, the Jewish one. Had a fucking big mouth Jew brought up front. Of course. I what? I should have took a wild fucking stab in the dark. You're Jewish. Who'd have thunk it in a million years? He does look retarded. <laughs> What's that? Where she's from. Yeah, that's because I'm running the show and I'll ask the fucking questions when it's appropriate, douchebag. <laughs> right? Do you believe? Do you get this at your job? You know I do. <laughs> Was was that English you just spoke? Or what? All right, where are you from? Well, Detroit. Oh. 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 <laughs> it almost sounded British for a second. Oh, you do get you, you get the same shit at your job? Oh, okay. W what do you do? I'm a magic tricks artist. A magic. Oh. <laughs> here, in case the show gets boring here. Catch up on some penal law. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Is it a magistrate a judge or is there a difference? Um, I'm not elected actually. Somebody let you in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not elected. I know a guy. <laughs> hey, it's Detroit. H how'd you become a judge? Tony. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> 
So a magistrate is is uh, is appointed. It's a judge. Oh, but you don't have a law degree. Yeah, I do. Oh, All right, don't get pissy with me. No, because I know some jurisdictions, which is weird. They don't have to have a law degree to be a magistrate, correct? In New York State, you you can be appointed. Yes, in New York State, you you can be appointed. Look at this guy. Yeah, I made a couple of those. Dude, you said that with such rancor in your heart. Yeah, yeah. Fucking New York State. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the difference between bitter and better is just a letter. <laughs> what a call that was. You get this shit at your job? Actually, I do. <laughs> In any other job, I would have said bullshit, but judge fucking A, man. Wow. Oh my God. Magistrate. So is it criminal court you preside over? A worker's comp. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck, you saw it, Judge. You saw it. There were two little steps at the end of this thing I tripped over there. <laughs> Dina, back me up. You're all witnesses. You're in on the fucking settlement. This will be our fucking factory by the time we're done. Judge, no wonder your wife can afford the big bag. <laughs> Lovely. I'm, oh, that's your, that's his wife? Okay, relax, lady. It's not like he's fucking hideous or anything. <laughs> that's his wife, not me. He's just, uh, you know, Jesus, he's, he's a, he seems like a nice guy. He's good looking. I'm actually attracted to him. <laughs> Put on the robes. <laughs> oh, let's, let's, let's preside over something. You're not guilty of anything, remember that. Jeez, you're sweating like Mike Tyson writing a check. What the fuck is wrong with you? Christ, you don't have a bowler, do you? What the fuck? Judge, were you in West Africa recently? Thank you. The Jewish lady. I have a tissue. I love it. <laughs> what's the uh, what, what's the weirdest case you ever uh, sat over? Does it say sat presided? What presided? Uh, presided fucked up. <laughs> What's the largest sentence you ever gave out? You don't give? What, you just use short, short version of little words? <laughs> well, who said what? Just. <laughs> Dude, don't in incriminate the judge. What the fuck is wrong with you? Could you fly a little under the radar? Just a little bit? Cash. <laughs> Sorry, what is it? What is the uh, court again? What is the jurisdiction? Works comp. Okay, so oh, you're right. You don't give it. Well, don't. I mean, for fraud, if there's a fraud involved, you no, don't. I do that. Nah, I don't deal with that. <laughs> I have people come in. I say, fuck it. <laughs> Can't get involved with any of that. <laughs> so you have to go. Strictly based on evidence, right? I mean, if you see a guy or a woman sitting in front of you that you just think is full of shit, <laughs> but it can't be proved <laughs> that they're full of shit, you gotta just go with what the law says, right? Or can oh, you? I can do that with that Fucking yeah, man, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> fucking power, dude. Do you have a heart on when you do that? I would have a fucking wooden. People would know who the judge is when I'm around. Eh? on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I run this bitch, yeah. You can beat the... <laughs> what was that, Parrot Jungle? What is that over there? <laughs> you can... <laughs> Shut up, what the hell is going... What are you sitting on? I want one. Do you hear this laugh over here? Hold on. I have to see if this is a human. <laughs> Who is it laughing? 
Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Do you work in a fun house? <laughs> no, what do you mean it's coming up? <laughs> you want me, don't you? <laughs> Holy shit. Listen, I'll make you scream for people you never met. <laughs> Who's moaning at that? Fuck you. Just because I'm Irish, don't believe everything they tell you about the Irish. It might not be big, but I'll fuck you lots of times with it. I can tell you that much right now. I'm like a light switch, I am. That's awesome. So you can take a person's credibility, their personal history, into account in making that uh, decision about a settlement. Or child. Uh, or child. Child, child. Oh, child. I was going to say child. How the fuck did that get into it? <laughs> I fell down and hurt my leg. This is my kid. Someone who gets screwed over by workers' comp, I got it. Fuck him! <laughs> Dude, no taping in here. Did you not hear the announcement when this started? He's an asshole. <laughs> and this is your best friend. He's an asshole. <laughs> oh, are you the guys from Australia? Fuck off, yes we Fuck are. Fuck off, yes we are. Oh. <laughs> and you wonder why no one wants to go down under. <laughs> Why don't the two of you make like a big red roux and hop the fuck on out of here? Y'all fuck yourself. Y'all fuck yourself, yeah. No wonder you're single. <laughs> you and your buddy came all the way to Vegas. You don't even have chicks sitting with you. <laughs> Lilza! I'm a talented stage Vegemite, You thought it was Vegemite? <laughs> Is that what it sounded like? Right? Didn't it sound like Vegemite? Get me a book, goddammit. This is too much for me right now. <laughs> Can't handle this shit. I'm actually going, I'm, I'm, what was that, gas? What was that, dude? What the hell was that movie you just did? Did you see? He got up and he went like this, and he just sat right back down. Did you just crop dust this whole area? Did you guys catch that? Did, are you not nervous at all, this guy? I think you have particulate matter on your shirt. I would... It was almost like he wiped his ass on you. How are you? Excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. That's how I greet people. <laughs> so now you're getting heckled by foreigners. Fucking foreign is my. <laughs> Australian for beer. Fosters, remember those commercials? Australian for beer. And the can was the size of an oil drum. <laughs> Have a Fosters, mate. It's Australian for beer. Uh, no, that's English for rehab. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Does it come with a helmet? <laughs> uh, what's your name, dude? What is it? What up? Craig. Ah. <laughs> I know they speak English in Australia. I've been there, but... Mongo make words! <laughs> travel agent, all right? See how well that works out for you. Hey, we'd like to come. Fuck you!
Now you're from California? What the fuck? <laughs> Hang loose, dude. How much you want to bet later on the strip, you're going to see him going, I said, hang loose, officer. <laughs> I know a judge in workers' comp. You better take that fucking hand. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You're blading hands. That's what it is. Blading. Everything's bloody this or bloody that or bleeding this or bleeding that. Or oh. it, let me handle this, dude. <laughs> Why do you fuck with me when I'm working? I don't come to your girlfriend's club and put glue on the pole. How's that, Your Honor, huh? <laughs> Oop, there it is. There it is. Welcome to a little American hospitality, motherfucker. Now hop on the fuck home. So is this a vacation or uh, you're looking for work? I'm sorry, you're Paul. Is that what you said, dude? The big guy? Hello, pay attention. Why don't you guys pull your IQs and come as one fucking idiot next time? Huh? Oh, now I'm out of line? Are you fucking kidding me, Dina? Now I'm out of line? You couldn't make it down two stairs. I am funny. <laughs> Hence the laugh factory. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of detectives. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. All right. Paul. Paul. Is it Paul? What is it? I thought you said Paul. <laughs> Great. All right. Would you change your name? <laughs> you really still want to fuck with me, dude? I will destroy you. And everybody will enjoy it. You will crawl out like a crying little bitch, I guarantee it. <laughs> so I made friends with the big guy. Go fuck him up. <laughs> now, you better sit here. I wouldn't want you to damage your teal shirt. <laughs> What's that? The Jewish woman bought it for you? Oh, she did? You're gonna look lovely. <laughs> Good husband, right? Yeah, good for you, man. I know you didn't, that was not your fucking call. I know you did not want to walk around looking like a kiddie pool. All you're missing is little starfish and bubbles and shit on that. What are you laughing at, Judge? That's the same shit on, right? Fucking kiddie pool, for Christ's sakes. No, good man, all right? Well, you've married a long time. You know, you gotta, you have two choices in marriage. And this is for you men. This does not apply to women. You have two choices, men. You can either be happy or you can be right. <laughs> you can't be both. Get used to it. <laughs> Look at every woman. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's fantastic. Did you say you were celebrating? Uh, uh, Oh, no, her, you have an anniversary. I also thought you were, too, no? By the way, how many years again, dude? 28. 28, very nice, lovely. This is the, the mister? Yeah. How are you, Mr. Dina? <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you here. Are you from uh, Las Vegas? Yeah. Okay, see? He doesn't even fucking talk. <laughs> Anyone looking to get married, take a good fucking hard look right here. <laughs> Here it is, folks. Here it is. Here's your future. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> I love uh, I, I love the uh, answers I get when I ask uh, a wife or a hus and a husband what the secret is to a successful marriage, because uh, sometimes the answers are diametrically op opposed. Because I actually or, or what what helps? Someone said to me once. Uh, well, uh, we, uh, here's one thing. Never go to bed angry at each other. <laughs> I, 
know couples that haven't slept in 20 years. <laughs> They're just waiting for the other one to turn in. You go first. <laughs> so Dina, what would, I'm just curious, what would you say the key, notice I say successful, I didn't say happy marriage. That's an oxymoron. <laughs> but it's, what's that? <laughs> Having a hearing aid helps. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking? Is it really taking you this fucking long? Now what's your definition of successful? It'd be great if, if I wasn't married to him. All right, can I, can the mister answer it then? <laughs> that said it all. Uh, what do I say, honey? I can be right or happy, I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Happy wife, happy life. Happy, I'm sorry, happy wife, happy life. Dead wife, better life. And there's a lot of desert out there, too. You might find one of those bodies from the movie Casino. I'm sorry, 28, 29 years, was it? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did you say? <laughs> she said she's not going to remember the upcoming year. I can tell you that. I think it's 29 years. <laughs> Children from the uh, blessed encounter. Yes? Two? See, the husband even waited. That was another. Gr great. If, if you are in a committed relationship or marriage like they are, if you're a man, you know... Do not answer in matters of the heart. Always defer to the missus. Just look. <laughs> it's like, oh, are you married? Uh, <laughs> how many years? Uh, 22, 22, 28. <laughs> oh, do you have any kids? <laughs> Two, three. Where the fuck was I? My grandparents were married 63 years. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing, right? I mean, not to each other, but. Like, <laughs> <we're all. laughs> you, uh, that was how it was done back then. They were from the old country, the Roman Catholic, you know, where you stayed together in holy matrimony, or you were going to burn in the fires of hell for eternity if you didn't. That was how it was. But still, 63 years is pretty amazing. <laughs> At their 63rd wedding anniversary, I got a hold of my grandfather. I said, so, Pop, you're married 63 years. What's the secret? He said, I've only been home three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Dina? <laughs> are, are you kidding me? You're just answering now the fucking question? <laughs> that was seven minutes ago. Holy shit, you gotta be careful. Travel. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your, what's your name, the husband? Jeff. Yeah, call a live one there, Jeff. <laughs> what a delay. Are you in another time zone? <laughs> what would you say the secret is to a happy marriage? <laughs> Travel. Do you mean separately or? Because I know that's big within the Jewish community, this, they, right? Very, very much so, correct? Husbands and wives take separate vacations. Have enough of his bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Don't talk, dude. Don't talk. You're already wearing a kiddie pool. You should shut the fuck up. She'll put you, dress you like a rodeo clown, just to fuck with you tomorrow. She'll even make you wear a barrel. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, uh, and how long have you been? Fifteen. Okay. And also children? Okay, so nice. Oh, something wrong? Is junk broken? <laughs> not at all, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking kiddie pool boy, huh? That's why he wears teal, because he's the pool boy. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jewish lovemaking. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, God. So what part of uh, Florida are you from? How did I fucking know? <laughs> Boca. Are you explaining that to herself? Thank you very much. You didn't get it? God's waiting room. You think I'm kidding? Boca is the only place on the planet where you can see a 92-year-old woman pushing her mother in a wheelchair. Yes? waiter walks up to a table of all Jewish women in a restaurant and says, is anything okay? <laughs> it's an old joke, but it works. Oh, it, you know, it's, it is the truth, right? It, it, I, look, she even coughs it. You know what? Thank you for acknowledging your annoyingness. <laughs> okay, what do you have, a tattoo? Is that a tattoo you have? Oh, I'm sorry. Just, oh, just nice Jovi. <laughs> Such a Jewish answer. It's just nice jewelry. <laughs> it couldn't be jewelry. It's just nice jewelry. <laughs> Fucking love it. Oh, my God. So how come you didn't, you know, help me out when I asked about the Lachaim thing? I, I, you did? Okay. Oh, I did? Okay. All right. Because I grew up in Brooklyn, so I learned. Oh, hey, hey, how are you? Can I get a ride home? <laughs> Flatbush. Where? Oh my God, I went to Brooklyn Tech. You know Tony? <laughs> <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> and then don't encourage him. We'll keep on doing this foolishness. Midwood, yeah, my dad went to Erasmus High School. I grew up right near uh, church in Flatbush. What are you doing out here? Witness protection? <laughs> <laughs> with the bitter old dudes in there. <laughs> Fucking New York State judges. <laughs> so growing up in, in Brooklyn, y as you know, it's a, it's a melting pot, still is. I mean, the Bronx, for instance, uh, the Bronx used to, uh, used to be German, was mainly spoken, then Hebrew and Yiddish and uh, Russian. Russian and now Russian and Spanish, yeah, so it changes over. But so growing up, I was uh, exposed to all these languages, so I, I was corrected very early that there was a difference between Hebrew and Yiddish. And it's, in the, it's all in the back of your head. Because <laughs> I, I, uh, I dated a lot of Jewish guys. They won't marry the Goyim. <laughs> if, you, if you're wondering what a Goyim is, it's you. <laughs> Any, a, a, right, right? If you're wondering what a goyim is, it's you. That's just, that's that's the, that's the qualifier on that. Right? <laughs> you know, and and the way they used to say it, it would make it sound like it's a disease. It's got goyim. <laughs> Basically, a, a non-Jew is a goy, because you know what they say: once you go goy, oh boy. <laughs> so I, I dated a Jewish girl from Manhattan Beach. And I uh, had to learn a little uh, Hebrew. And uh, in Hebrew, it took me a while to, to learn to pronounce her name correctly. In Hebrew, her name was <laughs> In English, it was Audrey. <laughs> you guys have been great. Have a terrific night. Be safe. Win a lot. Thank you. Bye.